Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Stop trusting in imaginary, imaginary energy. It might be the wires that's over your head. <laughs> we be trusting in anything except for the word of God. We trust in energy, spiritual beings. We so sweet and loving like the right wind. We fall for anything. Verse 3. I mean, Psalms 83, verse 2. Watch it. Just listen to this. Watch it. Just listen to this right quick. Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, uh -huh. and they that hate thee. Thy enemies hate, hate us. Do you agree that the white men hate us? Yes, right. No, they just hate and they, they have they, 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 they hate us. I'm going to show you what. I'm going to show you why they hate us right here. Watch this. And they that hate you have lifted up thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They took crafty counsel against thy people. One thing they did was went by and renamed us. That's how they took crafty counsel. Another, another crafty counsel they did was giving us this white man and the lie. Another thing they did was giving us Christianity, that a Baptist. Mormons, oh, Pentecostals, those are all lies. Watch this, read. Ooh, ooh, and consulted ooh, against thy hidden ones. They did what? Consulted against thy hidden ones. They came against the hidden ones, all people that don't know who they really are. Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Now we're not a nation. Now we're divided. Now, now the Indians don't know you are our brothers. Watch this. I don't need that book. I, I Hold on. To, to actually, Hold on. If it's here in our face, for real, for real, people need to hear it. I have to stop you, my brother. Go ahead. Guess what? I was a visual artist. School of CPSOA. Trust me. We had to do art history. So a lot of that stuff went, you know, all that European, all that stuff, a lot of stuff we had to learn. You know what I mean? Right. A lot and everything to do with, with, with Christianity. Uh -huh. and all of that. Michelangelo, Donatello, them, Sistine Chapel, all of that stuff like that. Hey. And none of all of that stuff was actually put these, like you said, I agree. To so like us. Images, images to lie. of people. And that's what? They want how would you correct that? But, how, oh, my turn, no. No, I'm saying, how would you correct them? The lies that was taught to us. Oh, you want to tell the truth? Guess what we're doing? We're bringing the truth to our people. Hey, guess what our people are doing? Watch this. I'm four and six. I'm going to show you what's happening. I'm going to show you right now how our people not want to hear the truth is part of the damn problem. We, Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people, my people, God's chosen people, these people on this side, the so called blacks, the Spanish, the Native Americans, the children of Israel, or what? Are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We're destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. What do our people do? Rejected knowledge. They don't want to hear this Bible. They reject the knowledge because they think it's the white man's fault. They think we're coming with religion. They think we're coming with lies like the pastors. But guess what we're doing? We're reading, Thus said the Lord, something they never do. What we're doing is giving you the understanding of the Bible. So read it again. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Guess how we got rejected? God rejected us by putting us in slavery for rejecting his word. See, that thou shalt be no priest to me. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What did we forget? Thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. So God, we've forgotten God's laws. We forgot the things that will keep us in rulership of this earth. 
So all we try to do now is bring back the laws of God back to our people so we can go into rulership. But our people, when they don't want to fight, when they don't want to stand up for the truth, they happy being slaves. Guess what? Guess what? When you sit there, Hey, yes, thing is, when you want to tell you about my let me, I have to tell you this. I have to. Go ahead. But y'all keep going to the book, and I get it. I get it. You talk loud, yeah, whatever. Da, da, da. I That's how we're supposed to teach. But guess what? Yeah. But me going, I learned knowledge from a whole different, just a whole different hat. That's the problem. problem. Not, that's the whole thing. No, 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 no. no. That is I'm the talking problem. about like. Do art and stuff like that. First Listen, of all, first of all, I'm an avid Malcolm X holder. You know what I mean? Malcolm X went the wrong way too. Mm. Yes, he did. He you know how you don't know? You know how you don't know? Because no. you didn't you didn't read the book of your ancestors because you rejected Malachi to himself. Watch this. Watch this. I'ma see if Malachi let's see if Malcolm X talk this right here. Because this is what you're supposed to be teaching right now. No, 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 no. I don't know. Malachi chapter two very better. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So so Malcolm X was a priest for the Muslims, right? Guess what? What? Malcolm X was a priest? No. Or whatever you want to call it. Vatican, dude. No, hold on. No, it's man, 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 Priest just means leader. I know. So, so was he a leader for his people? No, 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 no. no. Malcolm X wasn't a leader. He was a voice for his was people. Was he a leader? A voice. Did he lead people? He did. People followed okay, so him. Okay, so he was a leader. But he still so, was a so, voice. so, so if people but follow no, no, you, no, no, they no. are leaders. But you want to turn the main right? No, no, no. Priest, if somebody priest. follow you, you are a leader. As simple as that. Yeah, let's let's try not to play some but hell, bro. He was a leader. Everybody knows he's a leader. Damn. We, hey, people still celebrate the Malcolm X today. I, I followed Malcolm X teaching. He was a leader. Watch this. For a priest lift should be knowledge. Remember, I'm just going to tell you what the knowledge you're supposed to follow. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. They should seek the what? The law at his mouth. That's the laws. The knowledge is God's laws. Let me think about this right here. Listen, you said that you believe in a higher being, right? Energy. You don't know. Higher energy. Watch this. If that higher energy is put me like gay men, this word for you to follow so you can have knowledge when you follow it, Give me Isaiah 34, 16. What gives us life? What gives us life? I'm finna give it to you right now. I mean, I'm just saying, though. Yes, I'm finna give it to you. 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 I'm finna
We so sweet and loving like the white men. We fall for anything. Now, brothers, believe in God. Our praises. And hey, check this out. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And you believe in that? God said, trust in him with all your heart. You believe in that? Hey, all praises. That's why you're here right now. Y'all want to find out what God wants you to do, right? Read it again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. That's what y'all shouldn't want to do. Nobody that's want to say they want to follow God should lean to their own understanding. Because you know why? Because God actually gave us a book. Give me your proof for one. God actually gave us a book to follow. The problem is we are not being taught this Bible in our churches today. Do y'all agree with that? Do you agree with it? What color is Christ? Huh? You was taught he was white. What about you? You was taught he was white. Hey, brother, you know what color Christ is? Huh? You say white? Watch this. Marie, Baruch 4 and 1 right quick. And then I'm going to give you what Christ looked like. Watch this. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. This Bible is the book of the commandments of God. God commands you how you should live. What you should study. What you should do. How you should dress. He's commanding you how to walk in righteousness so you can actually get into the kingdom of heaven. We all want to get into the kingdom of heaven. Nobody wants to go to work nine to five, slaving every single day and not be a reward at the end of the day. We all want to uh, get into the kingdom by doing right. Because y'all ain't out here shooting, selling nobody drugs. You want to get into the kingdom, right? Read it again. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endures forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. For all they keep it shall come to life. You're going to get that eternal life that you want. You understand? Read. But such as leave it shall die. But such as leave it shall die. We understand that? Give me uh, Matthew 24, 24. So such as leave it shall die. One of the ways that we left the word of God, one of the ways we left that way of life is through slavery. In slavery, we was given this man right here to worship as Christ. This is what's taught in all our homes. This is what our children believe. This is what's pushed throughout the whole earth. But they never ever once came out the Bible to prove that image. Watch this. Matthew chapter 24 verse 4. 24 verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. So this is Jesus Christ speaking. He's telling you there's going to arise false Christ. Right? Read. And false prophets. And false prophets. So what do you think those false prophets are going to be preaching? That false Christ, right? So let me ask you, have you ever just thought about how would that false Christ come to be? Have you ever thought about that? Watch this. You know who uh, did this, put us in slavery? You see these images of slavery? Our people getting burned out in, uh, on the state with, uh, with fire? You see all those things? Would you say those are our friends? Do you know in slavery, they forbid our people to read for, about, for over 200 years? We couldn't read or write. If we couldn't read or write, this book, that's the way of life, could we read it? Now, we didn't know it, now did we? And so who was going to teach the slaves how to come back to life and rule the earth? Nobody was going to teach us that. So guess who gave us false Christ and false prophets? Who you think did that? Those same white people, right? And they gave us a Jesus Christ that looked like what? Just like them. So let's find out what Christ looked like. Give me Revelation. So, hey, ain't that the man? You don't want to follow false Christ, right? That's the first thing you want to do. Is Christ is Christ is the way. He is the way for us to get into salvation. We gotta believe in him. But we gotta believe in him as it is written. We can't sit there and be like most Negroes and sit there and say something dumb, like Christ has no color, but he walked the earth. Like he's some see-through man, nobody know what co uh, color Christ was. If nobody knew what color Christ was, why did they come and worship the L at his feet? Why was they going to him saying, hey, please heal me? Why was they going to Christ looking for salvation if they didn't know what Christ looked like? They knew exactly what he looked like. Because those people that needed salvation, those people that needed saving from the white man, look like you and me. So they weren't looking for no white man to save them out of slavery.
They was looking for somebody to look like you, somebody to look like me, to bring them out of slavery and to give them salvation. Start verse 1. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. You would think the churches would be telling you about this Bible verse. The revealing of Jesus Christ. But well, you know what the churches uh, teach you? Well, that's Revelation. All right, don't touch that. That book's scary. They have you scared to even read Revelations. They make you think it's a scary book. Like something's going to happen to you if you go into Revelations and read it. Like it's too deep to get some understanding. That book's too deep. Nah, don't touch that. But look what it's saying. Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. He gave this to show to his servants the revelation of Jesus Christ of what he looks like. Read things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, Read. who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. All things that he what? That he saw. So he saw Christ. This is somebody who know what Christ looked like. Read. Right. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that readeth. Are we reading this right now? Blessed are us because we're reading the word of God. We're reading to our people what Christ actually looks like so they can stop following a false Christ. And look, it's a blessing for you to read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And blessed are you that hear the words of this prophecy. Blessed are you black men, young black men, that stood up and said, you know what? I'm not ashamed to hear the word of God. That's the problem with the older black men. They're ashamed to hear the word of God. They're rather sit on the corners getting drunk, hey, being niggas, instead of being the children of God. So he said, blessed are he that hear it. That's a blessing. God chose you for a reason for you to hear this word today. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Said, the hair on his head and the hair on his face was white in color and wool in texture. Who has woolly hair on earth? You know what woolly hair is? Your own hair. It's hair of Negro. That's woolly hair, like a sheep. You understand? He said his woolly hair was white in color, meaning it was fully gray. They ain't got woolly hair? Is it white? No. See these lies? False Christ. False prophets teaching this false Christ. Read. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes was red. Christ. Well, do you know Christ's first miracle? Miracle? He turned water to what? He turned water to wine. That was his first mir oh, miracle. What do you think he did with that wine? You think he drank it? Watch this. Look at the Exodus 40, 9 12. The Genesis, Genesis 49 and 12. Watch this. See, our people think God, hey, these lying prophets, God, our people think he did something wrong with drinking. He, you know, you shouldn't be a drunkard like them, but drunk by 12 o'clock. But God gave us, uh, he gave us wine, he gave us a strong drink so we could be mellow. Yes, we chill. Are we a chill people? But if you get too much of it, then we some niggas out here on the streets ready to kill one another. So you don't never supposed to overindulge in something. Read. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Christ's eyes were red with wine. You see that? He drank wine. They called him a wine giver. He wasn't a drunkard, but he liked drinking wine. Go back to that. Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, and his feet. If y'all didn't have socks on right now, your feet would be the same color as the rest of your body, right? So let's find out if Christ was a pale red man. Because the white man, he ain't white. The sign is white. They different shades of red. That's why we call them rednecks in the South, right? You see their blood through their skin, right? So let's see if Christ looked like a hippie, pale face, or if he looked like a, a, a true man of God with melanin. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. He said his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown, right? Yeah, brass is brown. So let's see how fine this brass was. As if they burned in a furnace. 
If you burn anything, what color is it? What? So Christ was a what? He was a black man. That's right. Then Christ was a black man. Go back to Saul, Matthew 24, and verse 3. So Christ is a black man. This black man gave us a warning. He, taught, he warned us about what? False Christ, right? And false prophets, right? Let's see what he said about these false prophets. Read. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. Verse 24. No, verse 4. Oh, verse 4. Yeah, verse 4. Verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So Jesus said, Hey, don't let no man deceive you. What we've been doing the whole time we've been up here? Reading the word of God, right? So we ain't got the Bible closed like your pastor. The Bible have a hold it, holy spot. The Bible have it, the pastor had the Bible closed and be up here telling you, and the Lord said, huh. And the Lord said, huh. You see what I'm saying? He'll be lying. The book will be closed. He said, don't let no man deceive you. Don't let no man run game on you. Make you feel, make, make you feel like you don't felt good, like you don't got the word of God. And the whole time the Bible was closed. You see that? He said, don't let no man deceive you. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Meaning he should be coming at this Bible. Read it again. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So many going to come in his name saying, I am Christ. Who come in the name of Christ? What they call themselves? Christians. Christians. Ain't Christians the one that got this image in their churches? They come in the name of Christ. Watch this. And what they going to do? And shall deceive many. What are they going to do? Deceive many. They go deceive our people. That's what they got you following Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July. They got you going to church on Sunday. The Sabbath is today. Today is when you're supposed to worship God. Right now, you in church. So all praise is that you're here to get what God's word. Today, you now know what Christ looked like. When you look at the sign, you brothers. If you if your father was so-called African American, you come from the tribe of Jew. Same Christ tribe Christ come from. You are an Israelite. And we gotta come back to God's law, statute, commandments. You understand? On the back of that flyer, you'll see our address where we're located in Columbia, South Carolina. That's where the saints are gathering ourselves together to keep God's laws. Because you gotta learn God's laws. You can't just worship God any way that you want to. God gave you law, statute, commandments to follow. It's over 613 laws and commandments, not just 10. God gave us laws and commandments to follow so we can actually worship him in righteousness, not doing our own thing. That's what their churches are doing. That's what our people are doing. That's why we're in these ghettos catching hell all over the earth. You understand? Because we don't follow God's laws. But we got to come back to those laws. Just give me that whole day of four or six right quick. I'm going to just show you the importance of God's laws. It's important, so why you gotta learn? Hey, we got a website on the back of that. You can start checking out the uh, websites. We got classes we offer seven days a week, about four or five times a day, every day. Today, you can go home and catch the, the, this evening's Sabbath class. I guarantee you watch one class today, you probably be more educated about God than almost 90% of all people in Charleston right now, just off of one class. Hey. Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Do you agree that the black man and black woman is all right, we're destroyed, we need to get us catching hell? Right. Because why? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Our people reject the knowledge. I got this look around. Where they at? Still sitting over there on the stumps, sitting over in the side while shooting basketball. That's how you reject the word of God. God sent his prophets out to give you the word of God, saying, thus saith the Lord. This is God speaking to our people, trying to bring them back in so they can make it to the kingdom so they don't be destroyed. But our people do what? They reject the word of God. Three. I will also reject thee. He said, I'm going to do what? Reject thee. You know how he's going to reject us? With nuclear fire. God is getting ready to bring judgment on this earth. He's going to destroy America for the sins that we've committed. You understand? Read. That thou should be no priest to me. All men of God are called to be the priest, to come out and teach our people. To help. You young men, guess what? Y'all should come in and start learning God's ways. 
so you can go out and help save your people. If you truly love black people, you will take on the job of Christ. Did Christ dedicate his life to do what? Bring salvation to his people? That's what we're doing. We're ready to die for this truth. Read. Sin, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What did we forget? Thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. That's why we're in these conditions. We've forgotten God's laws. That is the solution for our people. To come back to God's law. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.